Hi, welcome back to the final video of our Playwright and TypeScript course. So in this video we will recap all the information we gained from this course and also show some possibilities with a Playwright. Let's actually move to our Workshop 9 file. And uh, as you might know, we already been using the command line a lot to run all of the um, existing tests. But as you might notice, because I have the extension of the Playwright installed, which we went, which we'll mention on the first video so you can also run those tests right from here and you will be able you would be able to see nice ui you can run your test one by one or run the specific test or run the whole suit so this is also the cool possibility which was provided by playwright uh, but now let's focus on the command line so as you can see that we can pass the project here which is using by default for us is the Chromium. Also, as you remember, the Playwright is using the multiply workers, but if you need to specify only one worker, for example, for UCI, you can always do that by just passing the workers one or how many you want. And um, there is also possibility, as you remember, to configure the reporter. We did use the list a lot. And this is actually showing a lot of uh, a lot of information about this, but the, it also can easy, easily be changed from the command line, like reporter, and let's use dot for this test. And as you can see, we did use the dot reporter. Uh, this tool, I'm not using this tool quite often because I'm, pre I'm preferred to pick the reporter inside from the configs, but the playwright also have such option. You remember that we did use the debug mode a lot. Which is allowing you to um, actually run your test by one by one, uh, add some breakpoints and find out why your test is failing. Uh, pick the selectors, record the test itself. But despite of the debug mode, there is another, another cool um, mod you can use which was provided by playwright i believe in version 132 or later as you remember we are using the version of playwright is 139 so it's quite some time before uh, so to do that what you actually need is to provide the ui in your command line and so with that you can see this window is open first of all we can choose the theme here day or night and all of our tests are actually specified here. So it's quite useful, and but that, that not all the features. So from our workshop time, let's actually run all the tests. And so far we passed, you can see that there is the option to see the network calls once the test was passed. There is also to see some console, attachment we're given, errors, logs, and actually the source of the code. We can also specify our locator here, and as before, we can pick the locator itself as in the debug mode. So as you can see, this mostly giving you all the functionality from a debug mode. Once we're here, once we run some tests, so we can trace them, uh, trace actually the what was going on in our test step by step. So as you can see, there is an option to uh, go like second by second and you will know what is actually Playwright doing. So just open the page, fill the input, fill the input again, press enter, and then assert this. So I really like this cool feature and then uh, this would help to avoid the problems. You can record your test from here, uh, see every request, and the actually timestamp of the time when we when it was made. This is also comes up helpful when you uh, expecting some network request to be made and you have no idea why it's not. So I really love this possibility to work with a uh, with this UI mod. We can also uh, see what was happened before and after the action. So before to go to this locator check, uh, there's nothing going on. And after we click, we can see the result of it. So, 
So nevertheless, this is kind of magic for me. Uh, but the playwright is actually keeping the status of application, which means you can actually go and pick the selector from the from the each step. This would be useful when you go page by page. And I think this is just awesome. So even more because of the um, of the UI mod is actually opening within the browser, you can open the uh, dev tools and actually check all the elements which are on the page. So this is seems uh, un really unbelievable to me, but this is what Playwright is currently offering with this UI mod. So don't hesitate to actually try this UI mod uh, in your development. So as you remember before that I mentioned the Flaky test, there is also one more uh, one more possibility to handle the Flaky test. So let's say that you you are not really understand why the test Flaky. You tried all the possible solutions, but it's still it's still failing from some time to time. So there is a possibility in Playwright. You can always specify the uh, count of retries you can make uh, with your with your test. Actually, to pass the retry. And usually it's one, but you can put even two or or more if you need. This also could be specified uh, within the config. So you can see the retries are only happening on the CI. But once we run the test, once we run the test locally, there is no retries. Those are actually most useful one, but if you go to the playwright documentation, And go to test CLI. It goes to test to CLI. You can see all the commands are specified here. There's a ton of them. You can play around with them. Uh, dimension at grep. So you can see there is also the invert grep, which would pick the oppositive oppositive test instead of picking the argument we are passing. The retries, uh, timeout, trace mode. It's also similar to the UI mode where you can see the uh, progress of your test tracing. So we are coming to the end of our course. The, remember that learning never stops and there is always more to explore, especially when you go to the Playwright documentation, which is written perfectly. I encourage you to stay engaged and share your feedback. If you have any questions or insights, share them in the comments below. Join the Playwright community of, in our Discord. Uh, participate in the discussion and remember that engagement fuels your growth. That concludes our Playwright with TypeScript course. Thank you for joining me on this journey. I hope you gained valuable skills that empower your automation projects.